From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, August 7th, 2013. In the news, a pilot escaped injury after his helicopter crashed Monday evening at the Pogo Mine near Delta Junction. AP says the crash occurred a day before the first anniversary of a similar crash that killed a man. According to National Transportation Safety Board investigator Clint Johnson, Monday's crash occurred around 6 p.m. He says the Hughes 500D was carrying a sling load when the aircraft apparently had engine failure, landed in some trees and rolled over. The wreckage was taken to Anchorage where NTSB officials say they can further in investigate what may have caused that crash. The countdown is underway and in just a little more than three months, Fairbanks will be throwing out the welcome mat to the Alaska Federation of Natives for their annual convention October 21st through 26th. Yesterday at the weekly meeting for the Fairbanks Chamber of Commerce, representatives reported that final preparations were underway for the expected 4,000 native representatives arrival in October. The most important subject on the agenda will be subsistence. Many tourists and locals have made the journey up the Dalton Highway to Dead Horse. Tonight, BLM will host a 30-minute film about the remarkable Arctic environment at the Morris Thompson Cultural Center. The film, titled Arctic Visions and Voices, is an expanded version of the one shown in Coldfoot, and it's meant to educate people about the unique life cycle above the Arctic Circle. The opening reception is at 7 p.m. tonight, and the film will start at 8. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather today. Sunny skies, areas of smoke, isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon, highs in the lower 80s. Tonight, partly cloudy, isolated thunderstorms in the evening with lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Tomorrow, partly sunny, highs in the upper 70s. Extended outlook, cloudier Friday through the weekend, highs staying in the 70s and no mention of showers until Monday. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.